national winners were announced on Wednesday by the National Corn Growers Association. And WCI3's ag reporter Stu Ellis visits one of the winning contestants in this morning's report from the farm. For the second successive year, Troy Upoff of Rural Findlay has achieved what every contestant aspires in the National Corn Yield Contest. Uh, it's an honor that uh, my family and I have worked very hard about. Hard about. Uh, we've got a great group of employees, and we've got a lot of great people around us that help us make this happen for the second year in a row. Well, we've planted uh, DeKalb 6464. It's one of the top genetic lines on the market. Had a great year with that. About 355 bushel to the acre. And Mother Nature helps a lot too. Mother Nature allowed us to grow a good crop. She, she gave us about three to four inches of rain, not eight inches of rain like some of my friends up around Blue Mountain and Booty had that first two weeks of July. So Mother Nature plays a critical part in all this. It's, it's partly luck. Average rainfall for about the whole year in this area would be about 35 to 37 inches. Uh, it's probably a little north of that this year, between 38 and 40. You, you, you can't do anything without a great team of people around you. And I've got my brother that farms with me, my dad, and then you've got, we have employees, and then you've also got some key people around you. So Fred, Dr. Fred Bilo at the U of I, uh, and his assistant, Dr. Eric Winans now, They're, they offer great input. They, we go to agronomy day every year, so we pick a lot of, pick up a lot of good ideas there from them. Um, so we're, you know, we're just excited about it. Like I told you this morning, I know, Stu, you called me, and I said, Stu, I'm excited and, and humbled all at the state time to get this yield. Troy will be on our weekend show, Midwest Ag This Week. We'll talk about some of the agronomic details used to achieve his national winning corn yield this year. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.